Anyone who has come in contact with any of these patients, you could be at risk of getting that virus as well. Erica Ferrando explains what the process of contact tracing looks like. Like other viruses, there is a chance of the coronavirus spreading from one person to another. This disease seems to be fairly transmissible among humans. That's why investigations are happening right now to track down anyone who may have been exposed to the virus. It's a process called contact tracing. It's one of the quickest ways to find new cases to stop further spreading, according to the CDC. This is real public health in action. The Louisiana Department of Health's epidemiology team will speak with patients to find out who they've been around. The CDC says anyone who's come within six feet of a patient could be at risk. Dr. Ronald Blanton with Tulane's Department of Tropical Medicine says patients' families will be some of the first checked out. Close contacts have a risk that's probably less than 1%, uh, but uh, people in the family have a risk uh, that's about 10 times greater than that. Once the epidemiology team identifies these people, they'll speak with them to determine if they have symptoms and if they need to be tested. This type of tracing is very common with any type of illness outbreak. So it's something that they do all the time and are pretty good at. New Orleans Health Director says contact tracing has been used to find measles, mumps, and TB patients. So it's kind of old fashioned, but still effective. This tracing is also happening at the hospital, looking into who might have been treating this patient and what parts of the hospital they were in. So now sort of the hard on the ground work begins of talking to those folks, assessing their risks, seeing if they have symptoms and, and giving them each individual guidance on how to proceed. To try and keep the coronavirus from spreading. In New Orleans, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.